Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this video on how to write a conclusion to a Task 2 essay. To score highly for Task 2, you need to impress the examiner from the very first sentence. This lesson will show you how in easy steps. If your introduction and main body paragraphs are structured correctly, writing your conclusion will be very simple. This lesson follows on from those on how to write introductions and main body paragraphs, so if you haven't already studied them, I recommend that you do so. I put links to them in the notes below this video. In this video you'll learn why a good conclusion is important, four common mistakes to avoid, the structure of a good conclusion, and how to write the perfect conclusion. First, let's look at the ideal structure of a high-scoring Task 2 essay. It will have four parts. An introduction, main body paragraph 1, main body paragraph 2, and the conclusion. Although your conclusion will only be one or two sentences long, it's as important as each of the other sections of the essay, and you'll miss out on valuable marks if you don't include one. A good conclusion will neatly end the essay, link all your ideas together, sum up your argument or opinion and answer the question. If you do this well, you'll improve your score for both task achievement and cohesion and coherence, which together make up 50% of the overall marks. Without a conclusion, you'll score below band 6 for task achievement. Before showing you how to write a great conclusion, I want to highlight four things that you should not do, but are mistakes frequently made by students. In your conclusion, you should not introduce new ideas, introduce new evidence or examples, write too much, or be too general. Do not add any new information. The purpose of this final paragraph is to summarise what you've already said, nothing else. Many candidates write conclusions that are far too long. A lengthy conclusion just isn't necessary. And also you won't have much time left in which to write it, so keep it short. Follow the simple guidelines I'm about to give you. Another common error is to write a concluding statement about the topic in general. You must be specific. Your conclusion must relate directly to the question and sum up the specific ideas in the main body of your essay. The ideal conclusion has one or two sentences. The most important sentence is the first one, where you sum up your main ideas. You can add a second sentence if you want to, to give a prediction or recommendation. The second sentence is optional, but perfectly acceptable if you want to add one. It's useful if you find that you're just below the word limit when you finish your essay and need just one more sentence to get you over the minimum 250 words. If your essay is long enough, leave it out, as it won't earn you extra marks. Your time will be better spent checking your grammar and spellings. The summary sentence is the one that's essential, so we'll begin with this. We're going to add a conclusion to the essay we created in the lessons on writing Task 2 introductions and main body paragraphs. Here are the question and the introduction. The two main body paragraphs are on the next slide. Some young people are leaving the countryside to live in cities and towns, leaving only old people in the countryside. Do you think this is a positive or a negative development? And now the essay. The migration of the younger generation to urban areas is leaving many rural locations populated predominantly by the elderly. This essay argues that the loss of young people from the rural landscape has problematic consequences. The two most serious are the depletion of the rural workforce and the loss of local education facilities. When 18 to 30 year olds move to towns and cities in search of new opportunities, they leave behind an ageing population to do all the work. Most employment in the countryside involves manual labour. This can be difficult for older people to manage, as it's far more suited to fit healthy young adults. 
A government survey carried out over the past decade reveals that the number of family farms being sold off to developers is increasing year by year. The main reason given for this is that the parents can no longer manage to do all the hard work themselves and their sons and daughters have moved to urban areas to seek new opportunities. Furthermore, in many rural areas there is no longer a village school for the local children to attend. With fewer families living on the farms and in the villages, there are not enough kids to keep the local primary schools open. This is a big loss to rural communities, as it means that children still living in the countryside often have to travel a long way to school each day. In the region of Devon where I live, every village had its own school just 40 years ago. Now only a handful of them exist. Most have been converted into houses and holiday cottages. Now for the conclusion to the essay. The first few words of a summary sentence are extremely important. The good news is that you can use the same phrase for almost any task to writing essay. I recommend that you use in conclusion or to conclude. These cohesive devices do two jobs. They link this final paragraph to what's been written previously and they make it clear to the examiner that you're about to summarise your answer to the question. There's another piece of good news. If you followed my instructions on how to write a good introduction to your essay, your introduction would be a summary of what your essay is going to include. Since your conclusion is about what the essay did include, that is your opinion and the main points, all you need to do now is to paraphrase this same information. Here's the introduction again. The migration of the younger generation to urban areas is leaving many rural locations populated predominantly by the elderly. This essay argues that the loss of young people from the rural landscape has problematic consequences. The two most serious of these are the depletion of the rural workforce and the loss of local education facilities. And here's the same information formed into a conclusion. In conclusion, the significant rise in the average age of people living in rural areas has resulted in a lack of suitable people to fill the workforce and the closure of the majority of village schools, causing hardship to local communities. Pause the video and study the way I've used synonyms and a different sentence structure to form this conclusion from the introduction. And this really is all you need to do. Finally, we'll consider the optional prediction or recommendation sentence. What do these two words mean? A prediction is a statement about what you think will happen in the future. A recommendation is a statement about what you think should happen in the future. Here are examples of each type of sentence that you could use for this essay. It is predicted that there will be a steady increase in young families moving to country locations in the coming decade as parents seek a more relaxed lifestyle for themselves and their children. It is recommended that governments should improve public transport and provide affordable village housing to encourage young people back to rural areas. Our essay is already well over the 250 minimum word limit, so we don't need to add either of these extra sentences. With our conclusion written, the essay is complete. Here's the final version. It's over two slides. Pause the video if you want to read through it, or spend time studying it. Learning to write good Task 2 essays takes a lot of practice. Use this lesson and the two on introductions and main body paragraphs to learn their technique. Then do as much practice as you can on all five question types. Take as long to plan and write your essay as you need to at first. Gradually speed up the process until you can write your essay within the 40 minutes allowed. Now I'll leave you to read the finished essay. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.